To be a bit more specific as to how we're applying colors to the panel frames, we're going to make use of two list filtering techniques, dispatch and sift. To get started, I'm going to clean up our file and use our longest list for this exercise. We introduce dispatch. Dispatch takes a list, we'll fill in our list of colors, and what it does is it divides the list into two. It's a binary operation that takes or that uses true false values in the dispatch pattern to split the list. List A is values that are true, list B values that are false, and by default we have a true false value. So what if we want to generate the true false value ourselves? using a condition. Well, the condition for this exercise is we want to find which index values, so index values of our list that are divisible by three or by five. We already have, from our location, we already have our index values in this. So what we're going to do is do a modulus which gives you the remainder of a division operation. So we feed in our index values and do a division, that's three, Can reduce this, feed that here. And what, it's, what it gives us is a list of values where our remainders after this division operation. So any value that is zero, it means that it's divisible by three, okay? And you notice that we're getting zero, one, two, zero, one, two, zero, one, two, obviously that's every three, every third one is divisible by three, and that makes sense. Uh, let's also do the same thing for values that are divisible by five. And then we do five. And obviously this one, every other fifth one, 10, 15 will be zero. And what we'll do is any run an equality to check for values that are equal to zero. So equal to zero. So the first number is our list. We're testing if it's equal to zero. If it's equal to zero, it should give us a true, otherwise it gives us a false. Okay, so now we have a binary list. Just to see, show you when it's equal to true. When it's equal to zero, it's true, otherwise it's false. Delete that, and we want to do the same thing for when it's equal to five. So we have three and for five, but we want to run a gate or operation. So if it's either three or five, it will give us, if it's both three and five, it will give us true. If it's either one of them, it will give us true. But if both are false, it will give us a false. That's how we, compress uh, this true statements or boolean statements into one boolean list. Now we're going to use this list in our dispatch. Let's put that here. So now we have a list that corresponds to this. To visibly show this correctly, let's, let's adjust the colors that are coming out of list B, which are the false values. Uh, or you know what, let's adjust the values that are true so that we can actually see which ones are divisible by three and five. So to do that, I'm going to add an opacity to these colors by doing a format text convert our colors to text. So I just use this text in here. 
and feed in a format in the panel. And what we're doing is we want the colors, which is in this address or this list. So this is list one or well, list one, but starting things always start from zero in the computing world. And then we want to put a space list item zero. Okay. And we feed that into format, feed this into data one. So zero is what's represented here. And one is what's represented here. One, we want this to be a slider between zero and two, five, five. That's just how the opacity of colors work. And you notice that what it has done is the values in this list now have zero, now have a value in parentheses that corresponds to the slider. Okay. So this is a simple way to modify text. We are not dealing with text, but just so you know. And what we're going to do now is merge these two values. So merge, we have a new modified color list and a new value. Move that and apply this list to the panel frames. to apply this okay what you will notice let's make this zero and hide so we can see this correctly so but it's applying this wrongly it's meant to this the values that are divisible by three and five are meant to be highlighted but seven is not divisible by three and five, but it's the opacity is applying to this. We'll explain why this is happening in a moment. Okay. Obviously something is wrong with our lists. They're not corresponding to the right geometry. Let's take a look at SIFT. We will come back to dispatch. Now SIFT is just like dispatch but SIFT doesn't, isn't a binary operation in the sense that it doesn't just split into two lists. It can split into multiple lists relative to the SIFT pattern. The SIFT pattern, the dispatch pattern can only be true or false. But the SIFT can take more patterns. Now, let's, let's explain what pattern looks like, okay? by converting the true false values to numbers. Here's what we have. What we have is a pattern list that is that only contains zero and one, okay? But with SIFT, you can have two, you can have three. And how that works is if you have a pattern, let's use the one of these values from the modulus. Notice that this has not just zero and one, but two. So if we pass this pattern in here and pass our colors in here, see that it doesn't work. What does it say? Filter index two is too high. Data will be discarded entirely. So because there's, it only has an output for zero and output for one, what we want to do is create an output for two. Okay, so you can see that the shift list or the shift pattern takes in more than two values, not just one or zero, but multiple, because we can increase this and it allows us to split the list relative to the pattern here. 
but for what we want to show we're going to use the same values from our result and pass that in here okay so the shift pattern takes in number of values beyond zero and one but they have to be positive you can't take like negative as far as i know yes it has to be between it has to be from zero one and beyond unlike the dispatch which takes only zeros and ones okay so i'm going to delete this and delete this and you notice that when we look at what's coming out from the first list we have nulls we have nulls but it maintains the number of items in the list it doesn't create a new list it maintains the list but it places nulls where the pattern doesn't correspond okay and similar to this it will place a null at 97 okay so these two values are what should be here it maintains the list but splits it up while it maintains the list dispatch on the other hand doesn't maintain the list it creates a new list see so we have a list of 45 items here and a list of 51 items or 52 items and 46 so what we want to do is apply the same thing let's just copy paste this in fact we don't need a new one and we're going to place this value here Okay, now don't worry about the red, it's because we have nulls in this list. So it's telling us the index must be greater than or equal to zero and less than the size of the argument of the argument list. Okay. This has nulls and so it's producing an error. But it has applied the opacity value to the list while maintaining the nulls. Now, when we to combine this list, we don't use a merge, we use a combine data, okay. which takes the corresponding values output values and puts it as inputs in the combined output from the shift input and combine and because you can have multiple patterns not beyond zero and one unlike dispatch you can also create multiple okay so let's see what's coming out of here All of a sudden, we have no nulls. Okay, because shift doesn't create a new list but maintains the list, the index values are also maintained when you use a shift. Okay, so I will delete this and let's copy a new one, hide this and connect the result to material okay and then modify our opacity let's call it opacity right now it's all solid but as we start to adjust yes because I did not connect the modified color to this okay so this is what we want to do 
and now as we modify this When it's at 225, it's solid, and when it's zero, it's fully transparent. Okay, so you see that one, or oh, oh, zero, three, five, six, nine. So these are all panel frames with the index values divisible by three and five. So we see that this has applied correctly. And again, that's because the index values in the list after sifting correspond to the index values of the panels, of the panel frames. So when we adjust the opacity, we see that it's applying to the correct panel frames. That's why it's important to pay attention to the index values when you're working with lists.